Today I want to talk to you about the best provinces in Canada for an immigrant. Mm -hmm. I want to rank them for you. Okay, and when I do this ranking, I just want to let you know, there's a disclaimer that this is my opinion. <laughs> this is not some research that has been done or published by anybody out there. So this is from my own personal opinion as an immigrant. I'm talking from an immigrant point of view because what an immigrant needs, it's not what necessarily someone who's lived here, who is born here is looking for because you realize that their needs are very different. Okay, an immigrant wants to come to a place whereby they can settle quickly, successfully get a job, you know, or even get a school, stuff like that. So you find that the needs uh, also vary for this immigrant. So it's not a one size fit all. Um, so you're going to find that what one province has uh, the other one may not have or rather uh, what one province is missing could be available in a different province but then again you also have to balance them and see what works for you and what doesn't work for you so i'm gonna give you pros and cons of all these provinces and the way i rank them if i were to immigrate where would i go as an immigrant why am i doing this i've lived in this country now for 10 years it's not that i have the authority to tell you the best province but then again i've done my own research i've traveled to all these provinces i've done and I've not lived all of in all of them. I've only lived in Alberta and especially Calgary. But then again, I have seen life happen there. And at times I'm like, would I move there? Would I not? Ah. So I'm going to give you that kind of an opinion. Okay, guys. Uh, anyway, if you're asking, my name is Lois. I'm an RCIC and I'm based in Calgary, Alberta. I offer immigration services, all of them. So please head on to my website, www.milalaimmigrationservices.ca you need a uh uh, professional advice, immigration advice, legal advice, you need uh, help with your immigration program, application, anything that you need, uh, please head on to my website and book a consultation there or just even send me an email and I'll tell you if you need to book a consultation. Okay, guys? Oh, excuse me. All right. Okay. So, have you subscribed? <laughs> if you have subscribed, mwah, thank you so much. If you haven't, please subscribe, like, and share this video. I hope this video can actually help you make a better decision uh, when you're thinking of immigrating to Canada because Canada is very big, it's very diverse, and offers different things to different people, okay? I just want to let you know that in this ranking, uh, there's no one single best place in Canada that I can tell you, oh, you know what, this is the overall best, okay? Why? Because as I say, there's no best place even in this planet. Canada is not the best country in the world, I'm telling you. Um, because we don't have that perfect place. Every place has got its own flaws and not everybody. everything is for everybody, okay? But <laughs> my number one, my number one uh, for immigrants, remember I said it's for immigrants, people who are looking to come into Canada, people who want to choose where to land. Um, Ontario and I'm saying this with a very <laughs> heavy heart because I don't live in Ontario okay but it's the truth I'm here to help you Ontario in my opinion is the best uh, province and I will tell you why I think it's the best province okay it has as fast you're looking at the, the biggest cities there and has the biggest cities in, in Canada anyway so they uh, on uh, Toronto and Ottawa okay they have the best overall economy their economy is so diversified in ontario so you find that actually ontario is like the manufacturing center of canada so there's lots of jobs whether it's tech jobs manufacturing jobs healthcare jobs all of them it's actually very good for farming and when i say farming it's dairy farming yes so very very good uh, some of the best dairy farms in this country they are actually in ontario kitchener uh, London, uh, all those places, they have some of the best uh, from, uh, farms there. I have visited those uh, dairy farms and oh my God, I was, you know, they, <laughs> they are mind blowing. Okay. Anyway, uh, Ontario is also the best travel destination in Canada. Oh my goodness. Have you been to Niagara Falls? <laughs> have you been to Canada Wonderland? Have you been to the oceans, the, the Great Lakes region there? You know, it's just a beautiful place that attracts a lot of people, uh, tourists that is, okay? Ontario has some of the most 
uh, high paying jobs, the highest paying jobs there in Ontario. Uh, if you want the best government jobs, please head to Ottawa. I tell you, just head to Ottawa. That is where all the government jobs are. But uh, for you to get a government job, you need to be bilingual. Okay. Uh, the other good thing with Ontario, they have the best schools. And when I say they have the best schools, Ontario has so many schools you're going to be spoiled for choice, whether you're looking for vocational schools, uh, you know, colleges, universities, some of them and the best they are, they are in Ontario. Okay. Uh, it's also very easy to find a job as an immigrant. Okay, whatever job, even starter jobs, there's so many. And for people even who want to be entrepreneur, uh, who want to start small businesses, it's very easy to start small businesses in Ontario. Okay, I find that Ontario also has the best rural areas. Yes, you know, you find that uh, the rurals of Ontario, from the ones that I've been to, you know, places like Waterloo, uh, Hamilton, uh, Kitchener, they are rural, but they are still very good places to live. And if I would move, I would move to Ontario, but I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I love, I love, I love Calgary. Anyway, I'll tell you more about Calgary. The cons though about Ontario is it's the most populated. So it kind of reminds me of Nairobi. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people when you're walking through the, the Toronto, uh, lots of people, uh, of course, with overpopulation, there's, uh, you know, low security. Uh, then I feel like there's a very fast life, you know, fast living, go, 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 go. So if th that doesn't always appeal to a lot of people, uh, there's a lot of traffic, you know, you're, you're in Toronto, that for one, you know, there's a lot of traffic there. You spend a lot of time in traffic. Um, and right now, you can barely afford a house or a home in Toronto. It's so expensive. The cost of living is very high. Uh, so a lot of people then end up living in apartments. So if you're looking for, you know, uh, some space, some backyard, uh, Ontario may not be, uh, you know, your best destination uh, because of high cost of living. Okay. But so you find that Ontario actually appeals to a lot of families, uh, millennials, uh, everybody actually Ontario just appeals to everybody okay number two number two number two guess where Alberta home sweet home for me okay so in Alberta you're looking at Calgary and Edmonton oh my god do I want to tell do you want me do you want me to do you want to hear me say for the tenth time that Calgary is the best place to be <laughs> anyway here in Alberta we suffer from the most the best majestic views yes you wake up and you see the rocky mountains all over every day you want to get out and just see you want to be outside because of the good views here in alberta okay after that we have the best life in canada quality of life in uh, in alberta is the best in canada uh the life here is slower so it's not what you find in ontario slower a little relaxed so that kind of gives you that work-life balance okay you're not go 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 all the time you're not going crazy all the time and then we have an average cost of living so you're able to afford a good home here you know with some backyard with some space breathing space you're not just always living in apartments uh you know highly populated uh high rises okay we also have uh the best public schools um and we have the lowest poverty rate okay high salaries in this in this province high paying jobs actually alberta has uh the highest paying jobs in Canada. We also have the lowest taxes in Canada and you find that Alberta is very desirable for younger families. People with families, most of them prefer to come here because of the things that I just talked about there. Uh, and you also find that Calgary has a lot of executives. Now I'm just talking about Calgary, a lot of executives. So there's a lot of money here. The downside of Alberta, and I'll tell you this, is that we have an economy that relies on oil and gas like 100%. So it's very undependable. So, you know, it, 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 there's a boom. One minute there's a boom, you know, life is good. People are getting paid crazy amount of money. And then after some years, the economy goes down and crashes and you all lose your jobs again. So it's always fluctuating, uh, ups and downs. Uh, so that, 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 that is very, you know, undependable for a lot of people who don't want a lot of changes like those. 
uh, but that is what you get from relying uh, heavily on oil and gas. Uh, you, I feel like here in Alberta, you're either working in oil and gas or you're working in healthcare or in a service industry. Like that's all that we have, okay? But all in all, uh, I also feel that uh, recently we are having high crime rates, so crime is rising. Uh, and when I say high crime rates, I just want to give this disclaimer that the crime in Canada is relative. When I say high, high is relative. You cannot compare it with other places like where I come from or where maybe you come from. Uh, in Calgary, uh, when we have, and I know one life lost is too many, but uh, Calgary now is reaching 20, 23 homicides a year, and that's a lot of lives lost here in this country, okay? So, uh, number three, and I was a little hesitant uh, putting this province as number three, my number three, it's Quebec, okay? And Quebec, uh, you're looking at Montreal, you're looking at Quebec City, those are the biggest cities that you're gonna find there. Uh, the reason I was struggling with Quebec is because it's purely French, okay? They only speak French. So, but for French speakers, people who speak French, I think Quebec is the best province for them, okay? Uh, it's beautiful, oh my God, it's charming, like charming, okay? Yes, you feel something different when you go to Quebec. You feel like you're actually not in Canada. I think they have that Europe, European charm. So that is Quebec for you. Uh, they, it's the largest province here in Canada and has affordable cost of living. Uh, it's also the safest, low poverty rates. And I know you wanna hear this. Uh, Quebec has uh, some of what I think, what I think are some of the best immigration programs, but of course they're for French speakers, okay? Um, they also have the best investor program. Yes, so as long as you have a lot of money that you don't know what to do with and you want to give it to the Canadian government, you know, you can always invest a lot of money. And in my opinion, that is like exchange for <laughs> PR. So you invest this much money, we give you PR. Uh, you want to look up uh, their, their, their investor programs, okay? If you have lots of money and you want that Canadian permanent residence and of course you speak French. Okay, the cons of Quebec, as I said, it's the language barrier. So you find that it's not for everybody. Okay, I also driving through Quebec for some reason, as much as I love going to Quebec, you feel unwelcome for some reason. You feel unwelcome. I feel like they're not the most friendly people. <laughs> True, I, I, I felt that, like they are not accommodative, uh, you know, everything is in French, it's like, you know, you know, we are different, that, I had that kind of a feeling uh, that, you know, they're telling you they're different and they don't want newcomers there, anyway, that's my feeling, that's my opinion, <laughs> okay, number four, British Columbia, Mm -hmm. Yes, so you're looking at uh, British Columbia is further west, the, actually the west, uh, the westernmost province here in Canada. And um, BC, you're looking at Vancouver and Victoria. Those are the main cities there. And I am telling you, without a doubt, BC is the most beautiful province in Canada. And I say that uh, it's just breathtaking. Okay, it's breathtaking. Uh, they also have, they're also the most diverse province. Yes, most diverse. Uh, they have a great economy. Great economy, you know, they have the Pacific. Uh, so the economy is also very diverse. Okay, it's also very safe to live. Um, it's very, uh, it's safe to live in BC. Okay. They are also known for the best tech jobs, okay? And the best weather. Come on, you know what? If there's any one province where everybody says, you know, Lois, just tell me about weather. If you're coming to Canada for weather, go to BC. But unfortunately, right now, they're going through floods and we're keeping them in thoughts. And uh, I hope that they can recover from that as soon as possible, okay? Uh, so, but they still have the best weather overall in Canada. Um, they have very good uh, post-secondary institutions, um, good schools for that matter, okay? The downside of BC is the cost of living. Oh my God, they have the highest cost of living. It's very hard to afford a home in BC. 
you're also going so if you're looking for a family home a lot of people end up just living in apartments unless you're living in the outs out outskirts of places like vancouver okay vancouver is very very expensive uh and victoria okay they also have the highest taxes right yes uh my number four saskatchewan yes saskatchewan you're looking at two big cities and that is saskatoon and regina okay um for saskatoon saskatchewan <laughs> saskatchewan what i like about saskatchewan is that they have very high wages for their job so it's easy to get a job there um they also have a very diverse economy uh and they are very good for farming because saskatchewan is canada's bread basket so if you're looking for a farm to come uh you know from anything saskatchewan so land prices land is affordable in saskatchewan especially for farmers and you can do really well if you want to do farming you know wheat canola corn etc etc okay not the best for dairy though i haven't seen a lot of dairy dairy is in ontario okay the one thing that i like about saskatchewan is their immigration program so if you're looking to be able to bring your siblings in canada uh you may want to settle in saskatchewan because uh, their program favors people who have siblings or cousins you know immediate family members so and it's a good place i'm telling you saskatchewan is a really good place to be okay uh quality of life is very good in saskatchewan the downside the downside is it's very cold in winter okay and then you find that saskatchewan is all prairie you know just flat 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 land which can be very boring you know it's not like you're looking forward to get out of the house to see something interesting you're just going to be seeing fields of wheat <laughs> okay so it can be a little boring but you know what we don't eat beauty you know <laughs> you can't eat beauty well beauty is good it's good for the eyes but then you don't eat that so uh i would still go to saskatchewan uh for the other reasons okay uh the other thing uh they've said that uh saskatchewan is the most dangerous province in canada yes they that, that was actually a study that was put out that it's actually the most dangerous and when i say most dangerous <laughs> I've been to Saskatchewan many times. I haven't felt that. But then again, uh, we are looking from Canadian eyes. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. My, the other one, my number what? My number six. You'll not believe this. I said this is my opinion. My number six uh, would be Nova Scotia. And in Nova Scotia, you're looking at Halifax is the biggest city there. And I'm telling you, this little place, it's little and it's charming. Okay. And then there's low population and Halifax is very diverse and has a very booming economy. So I know it's remote, it's in the east, but I love Nova Scotia. Okay. And Nova Scotia actually has very good immigration programs for people who are studying there. They have the most affordable schools. So if you're a student and you're looking for schools, the most affordable schools are actually in, in Halifax. And you'll actually even be able to get jobs upon graduation. Okay. Low cost of living. Uh, and again, uh, some of the best uh, post-secondary institutions are in Halifax or rather in Nova Scotia. Okay, the downside of Nova Scotia, of course, it's small, as I said, uh, they have low wages. Uh, so there's also, uh, you know, low income. Um, but then, uh, yeah, so it's low. Sorry, sorry about that. So it's low income. And the people who are actually attracted to Nova Scotia, they are people, you know, uh, families, uh, people who are looking for cheap schools and people who are looking just to start up. And again, people who are looking for uh, attractive immigration pathways into Canada. OK, these people together with the other provinces in the in the east, they participate in the Atlantic immigration pilot. OK. Uh, anyway, my number seven uh, is Manitoba, okay? Manitoba, you're looking at the biggest province, I mean, a city there, that is Winnipeg. Uh, one good thing about Winnipeg, I don't have a lot of good things to say about Manitoba, unfortunately, so please forgive me. Um, I was actually struggling <laughs> to look for very colorful things to say about Manitoba, but Manitoba, they have the best immigration programs also. 
because the, uh, at times I feel like, you know, uh, if you look at a province in Canada, look at the immigration programs. If they have those very highly attractive immigration programs, then that should ring a bell in your head. It should tell you something. So I'm not saying that it's a bad place, but it should tell you something that they are really desperate for people. It's not able to retain people when they come to Canada. So they're always, you know, scrambling for people. And that's why now they introduce these programs whereby they say, if you have even friends, you can be able to come to Manitoba. So if you have friends in Manitoba, you'll be able to immigrate there. Okay, it's very easy to immigrate to Manitoba as long as you have friends or relatives distant. It doesn't matter. It's going to be easy for you to immigrate there. So I like the immigration program. I also like uh, their universities there. You know, there's University of Winnipeg, University of Manitoba. I actually like uh, those universities and they are affordable. Uh, Manitoba doesn't have the best public, uh, you know, schools uh, especially for children not the best uh what i saw with manitoba though is that uh this visible poverty they have a very high poverty rate and they have terrible weather um and um winnipeg is the coldest city in canada okay all that said you know there's lower cost of living um and as i said they have good universities although they are limited okay the the most beautiful thing i saw about winnipeg is that it's a very beautiful place especially in the art and culture department so uh, the, it's very rich in art and culture okay so that is manitoba for you uh the people who get attracted to manitoba of course there are people who have connections to manitoba uh that's the main thing because uh you know the their provincial nomination program is very welcoming to people who have connections there. Okay. So, excuse me. Number eight for me is New Brunswick. New Brunswick, you're looking at the city of Fredericton. Uh, they have good immigration power programs. They are always recruiting. You know, they always recruit. You better always check. Uh, you better check out their recruitment uh, programs because they're always recruiting for healthcare and truck drivers. Uh, they're bilingual, uh, but I feel like mostly they speak French. Uh, they have some of the best beaches that I have seen here in Canada. They have low cost of living, uh, low crime, and cheap schools. The downside, I feel like uh, the population there is older. Uh, and it's not a vibrant place. It's not like a place that I'll be dying to move to. No, New Brunswick, no. Um, and they have low wages, okay? Uh, the other, my last, uh, not my last, my second last province is uh, Newfoundland and Labrador. Of course, uh, you're looking at uh, St. John uh, as the biggest city there. Uh, this is a very charming province small and charming uh very very beautiful low crime rate uh they have the best university in canada that is memorial university unfortunately they only have that one university um even their colleges they are very cheap so if you're looking for cheap education you should be going to newfoundland and labrador uh there's very low cost of living uh, homes are very affordable there it's quite relaxed so for people who are working online, uh, that's a very nice place to, to be. And also there's that work-life balance because, you know, and there's that low population. Um, the downside of Newfoundland and Labrador is being the furthest uh, East Coast province there, uh, they have terrible, 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 terrible weather, okay? They get the highest snow in this country, okay? My last province that I would personally, I would go to is PEI, that is Prince Edward Island. Why did I say PEI? I would, PEI, you're looking at Charlottetown, okay? And I'm telling you, it's the smallest province. It's the most beautiful small province. Um, it's known for potatoes. So if you wanna eat potatoes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snack, head there. They also have this beautiful Confederation Bridge. Yes, every time you drive through that uh, Confederation, there's something, it just feels so good. Um, it's very safe in PEI. Uh, it's very good for people who are interested in fishing and agriculture. Again, uh, potatoes, remember? <laughs> they have the cheapest, 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 like dirt cheap university. They only have one and college. Uh, their education there is very cheap. So if you're looking for a very cheap place, uh, please head to PEI. 
life is very booming and very beautiful in summertime in PEI. The downside of PEI, why I would not go there personally, is there are no jobs. So you go there and graduate, and you're you know you you're all scrambling for uh, the little jobs that they have. There's also no life in winter time. So you know there's six months of summer, six months of winter. So six months are booming, six months it's dead. Okay, and of course there's low wages. Okay. Uh, last but not least, so I've exhausted all the provinces. Now I just want to talk about the three territories because you know Canada has three territories uh, up north. And you're looking at Nunavut, you're looking at uh, Yukon and Northwestern Territories. Uh, the capital of Nunavut is Iqilat, uh, Yukon is Whitehorse and uh, Northwestern Territories, you're looking at Yellowknife. These places have the lowest population and they have the highest paying jobs. They are the farthest north, so they are the coldest. There's the highest cost of living because shipping food there, anything, shipping there is very expensive. It's the most remote place. Uh, so even their bills are very high bills. You're going to find very high bills there. Uh, there's very poor quality of life. Okay. I will tell you this about the, the territories. Only go there if you are looking, if that is the last way for you to get into Canada. Okay, maybe you got a job and you just want to get into Canada and you got an opportunity, please by all means take that. Or you want to make a lot of money, quick money, head up there, the jobs pay really well, you're not going to be spending anything um, if you're provided for accommodation. But again, cost of living is very high, but you can work, 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 work and get a lot of money because they pay well, okay? Otherwise, outside of that, that is not a place to take your family. It's not a place for people who have young kids, especially immigrant kids. You get kids from a, a tropical place and bring them to the Northwestern Territories. Uh, I would think twice if I were you. Okay. All right. That is my ranking. Again, as I said, you know, you're going to find that all these provinces and territories, they offer different things to different people. So don't take it as you know what, you can only go to one province. Look at what actually fits for you. If you're looking for cheap schools, head where there's cheap schools. If you're looking for a high, fast life, if you're looking for a job, if, whatever it is you're looking now, at least you have a, a broad overview on what these provinces have to offer. Okay, guys. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I'll see you at my next video. Bye.